are some of the best tools on the Unity Asset Store available to help make your game dev life easier. These assets will not only save you a ton of time and money, but can help take your project to the next level. Thank you to Unity for sponsoring this video. And if you're watching this around May 2023, then you're in luck for the spring sale, which runs from May 10th, 8 a.m. PT to June 1st, 8 p.m. PT, in which all of these assets that I will mention will be on sale. In the spring sale, there will be over 500 assets, 50% off, and that does not include the flash deals. Certain assets will be eligible for a flash deal, in which those will be 70% off for 12 hours, then drop to 60% in the next 12 hours, and then remain at 50% for the rest of the sale. So if you catch them early, you can potentially save a lot of money. We got a lot of assets to cover, so let's dive right in. The links for all of these assets will be in the description. These are affiliate links, which at no cost to you helps me a ton. So if you do find any of these assets interesting, please use my link in the description. It'll help a lot. First off, we have Final IK. IK, or Inverse Kinematics, is a way to simulate realistic movement in your character or object by determining in what positions and rotations certain bones should be in. Let's take this simple example that comes with the Final IK package. It has an aim target, which is used by the character in order to determine where the punch should land. This not only rotates the arms and the connecting bones towards that location, but also rotates the torso and the head. And you'll see that once you move around the aim target, these rotations are calculated instantly, which helps improve immersion and realism of the character movement. This can also be applied to walking on different terrains so that the character's feet automatically changes rotations based on the slope that it's on. You can use it to position the player's hands on a gun. So when you move the gun around, the player's hands follow accordingly. This can be great for any FPS games. And you can even use it for non-player characters, such as this constrained arm, where changing one of the sockets will change the rotation and the position of the other sockets. Now, the reason I really like Final IK is because it is one of the top rated IK packages on Unity. It comes with a ton of examples and documentation, which is one of the most important things when it comes to considering a package because, well, you need to know how to use it, right? It's easy to set up. The documentation is great and there's literally no reason not to buy this asset. So go buy it now. You can even make the characters do some funky stuff. Next up, we have Grab It, which is a physics transform tool, which helps you place objects on the scene using real-time physics. In the Unity editor, there's no real good way to place objects on the scene to make it look realistic. Usually you have to install some sort of third-party package or painstakingly rotate and place objects. Well, not anymore because with Grab It, you can simply select an object on your scene, move it around, change the orientation, and then apply gravity to it, which physics will then do the work for you and place the object in a realistic way on the scene. This is all done in play mode. You don't need a collider or a rigid body and it supports undo. So if you make a mistake, no worries, just control Z and you're back to where you started. Next up, we have paint in 3D. And this is actually one of my favorite assets in this list, just because it's so cool to see your scene come to life through something as simple as textures, materials, and decals. Essentially, this lets you paint on a 3D object. This can be used for, well, any painting app, but also for decals. It supports collision impact. So for example, the bullet hits the vehicle or a rock hits the vehicle, then you can make it seem like the vehicle was actually affected, which is extremely important in making your game feel alive. It also supports engraved normals, paint fading, a mirroring system, and seamless texture painting, along with a lot of other cool stuff. Once you're done painting the vehicle, you can save it as a new material and then apply it to your 3D object. I definitely recommend this asset if you want to make your levels feel more immersive. Next on the list, we have Platformer Project by Player2. Now, this is an amazing template for anyone considering making a platformer. It comes with an awesome demo scene, which shows off all of its capabilities. It has a fully rigged character with a ton of animations. It has character leaning, so when the character is moving, it leans to the side depending on what direction it's moving in. It has different abilities like spin attack, air spin attack. You can glide, you can heavy stomp, similar to Mario. You can air dive, you can backflip. It supports Coyote Time, which lets you jump even after you've left 
the ledge that you're on within a certain time threshold. It has wall sliding, wall jumping, ledge grabbing, ledge climbing, swimming, diving, crouching, crawling, moving platforms, falling platforms, gravity fields, destroyable objects, portals, pushable objects, and it uses all of the newer packages such as Cinemachine, new input system, and post-processing. It also has a saving system included so you can save and load your level along with multiple save slots support, a 3D dynamic camera, enemy AI, and a checkpoint system. This is an amazing asset and for anyone making a platformer project, it's hard not to consider buying this asset. They also have great documentation and their components are decoupled and neatly organized so that you can easily add on to them. Next up, we have Tessera Pro. This uses the wave function collapse to generate 3D levels and buildings in a matter of seconds. Wave function collapse is a type of procedural generation which has been used in games like Townscaper and Bad North and it's an algorithm inspired by ideas from quantum mechanics which generates maps or tiles based off of simple configurations or some sample images and so with this asset it lets you do that in a very easy way you don't have to worry about all that funky math the documentation is great it comes with a ton of examples that you can use such as paths that can be either 2d or 3d so you can add slopes onto the generated lands you can have multi paths so you can have more than one generator so let's say one generator outputs the base level and then the next generator adds props onto it you can also make spherical planets you can have these generate infinite tiles so if you're making any sort of infinite runner or game that needs to be generated this is a great option to consider an example being roguelite it has a dungeon example that shows how to add volume constraints so that a map is only generated within a specific section and then you can add generator constraints so that you can make sure that your dungeon or your map doesn't accidentally lead to a dead end they also have some platformer examples hexes triangles skyscrapers and truchette tiles which i'm pretty sure i pronounced that totally wrong if you're not fully convinced you can buy the non-pro version for only 4.99 and test it out see if you like it and then do the pro version which comes with more features this is a super cool and easy way to generate dynamic levels so you don't have to worry about all that procedural generation and making sure the tiles are in the correct rotation in the correct location so be sure to check this asset out next up on the list we have choreographer professional edition this is great for anything involving music based games this helps you analyze music and automatically detects beats within the music and shoots out events which then you can use to either enhance your environment or make some gameplay off of the rhythm it comes with useful examples such as karaoke and a rhythm game it can even create subtitles to audio files with precision timing and you can shoot off different kinds of events depending on the kind of beat so if you want your environment to scale or have the light change color on a specific type of beat then you can easily do so with choreographer and if you're not sure if you want to shelf it out they also have a non-pro edition for $50 but the professional edition comes with a lot more features such as integration with different audio engines next up we have stats 2 so stats 2 is part of the game creator 2 toolkit which game creator 2 is a set of modular components and objects that you can use to easily set up a player character trigger different conditions keep track of state and more it comes with some great examples on a third person and first person controller and it boasts modular design so that you can easily make changes to this player character and tweak properties it supports inverse kinematics ragdoll it has its own in Input system that you can use, customizable third person camera, and much more. So, Game Creator 2 has a ton of different modules you can add on to it, one of them being Stats 2. With Stats 2, you can easily make any statistic, variable, or attributes. This is especially powerful if you are making any sort of RPG game or a turn based game that needs a lot of stats and attributes. It has a modular design based on scriptable objects so that you can easily create new stats and formulas which are math expressions that link the stats and the attributes to output some value. For example, with a formula, you can calculate the damage dealt to an enemy based on their defensive values. So it's super modular. And if you have a ton of different variables that need to be taken into account, such as the enemy is weak against fire, but strong against wind, having this modular design will help you tremendously. It also has progression tables that modifiers, saving and loading is supported out of the box. And 
and they have some great examples and existing components that you can use already right off the bat next up we have umotion pro which is an animation editor now unity's default animation editor isn't bad by any means however there are a lot of features that umotion introduces that can make your animation journey so much easier it supports animation layers ik inverse kinematics right off the bat you can easily tweak existing animations you can easily select bones on the character and blend between the animation and ik you can set different constraints so that the player can be holding something and the hand will move with that object and it works directly with the unity timeline it also lets you export fbx's now they do have a free version if you want to try it out before you buy it the pro version comes with inverse kinematics you can import third-party animations you can add the constraints and the animation layers with the professional edition definitely consider buying this if you're frustrated with the default animation window next up we have animation designer which is another animation tool now it's quite different than the u motion designer the animation designer is made to make existing animations already better it is not a tool for creating new animations and it is more for human-like characters essentially it lets you add procedural motion on top of existing animations such as adding ik to existing animations it also lets you add curves so you can define exactly how you want the animation to impact your character at what stage you can blend between poses you can add elasticity for an easy boost of quality in your animation you can add stretching so that the bones look like they're being stretched when the player is performing a specific animation and this is a very versatile tool which helps you add more feel to the game animation can be one of the most important ways in a game to express character so you want to make sure that the animations are absolutely perfect and the best that they can be with animation designer umotion pro and final like hey these three tools will definitely go a long way in making your animations look as smooth as possible next up we have runtime editor which is a set of scripts and prefabs to help you create a game level editor or even build your own modeling application so if you want to have a level editor in your game that can be quite a daunting task that takes a lot of development effort however with this asset that time can be greatly reduced because it has a lot of scripts and prefabs already made for you as well as a great example it has position rotation scale vertex and grid snapping global and local coordinates it supports ar core as well component and material editors a configurable inspector a play and edit mode dialogues message boxes confirmations dock panels windows management multiple seams camera support static and dynamic assets asset bundles just supports a lot of stuff that when you're making level editor you might not take into consideration but will save you a lot of time in the future and this comes with it already built in which is really nice next up we have the sr debugger which lets you debug your code while on play mode which can be useful while you're trying to track down bugs on a target device with this you do not need to deploy a debug build anymore in order to find out what's breaking your build it can easily be accessed by default on the top left corner and it includes a runtime console a profiler and some extra options this is a great tool that can save you a lot of time debugging next up on the list is sensor toolkit 2 which is a way for characters to sense other characters using ray casts overlaps and trigger colliders implementing this yourself can take a great deal of work because you have to make sure that it is accurate and performant however this asset does all the hard work for you it works in 2d 3d it has multiple sensor types available such as ray casting steering line of sight it's lightweight and modular it does not generate any garbage all the source code is included and you can integrate this with game creator 2 playmaker behavior designer and more it also comes with a ton of great examples that you can base off of and some easy to read documentation so now what happens when your game is almost done and you are close to publishing and you need to clean up your project a little because it's full of gigabytes of random models and data that you're not using which causes your project to take forever to load well with assets hunter pro which is on sale as well you can easily find out what assets are not being used and easily clean them up this helps your project load faster helps find the assets you need it helps you find what assets are taking up space and it will help you be more productive overall now let's say you finally published your game to a store however a week later you see that someone publishes the same exact game and they're getting all the credit for it well that's because if you don't take the appropriate measures it can be really easy to decompile your code from your 
your build and someone can take the code from your game and steal it. This asset obfuscator has so many different parameters that you can configure to make it extremely, extremely difficult for anyone to read your source code. You'll see that before obfuscator, this is how the decompiled source code looks, but then after it's barely recognizable. And so you're going to want to implement this if you're planning on publishing a game, because imagine you work so hard on your game for someone to just come along and take your code. And then finally, the last asset on the list is full screen editor, which I've actually been using throughout this video to show some of the sample scenes. Full screen editor is a set of hotkeys that you can press to quickly enter full screen on either game mode, scene mode, or the main view. It's extremely simple. It's plug and play. It supports multiple screens. It's configurable and it has great performance. If you want to record gameplay for your game, this is a great way to do so. So thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to use the links in the description. They are affiliate links, which help me out a lot. And thank you to Unity once again for sponsoring this video. Once again, the sale runs from May 10th to June 1st. So be sure to get these assets before them for a hefty discount. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and thank you to my patrons for all their support. They make these type of videos possible. Link is in the description, offer source code, early access to videos, and more. Join our Discord to chat, post memes, or ask for help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.